My name is Paul Besley. I trained as a psychiatric social worker and came into social work in 1956 and remained there until I retired. I'm rather concerned about the proposed movement of schools to move Haygrove um, onto the periphery of the town, particularly in a, a rural area like Skimmerton Lane, seems to me um, very wrong when, in my opinion, the present site is quite adequate for being redeveloped. Of even greater concern to me, because of my background and uh, my knowledge of people with learning difficulties, some of whom I'm still in touch with and friendly with, is the question of moving them to the edge of town. Now this flies in the face of history. Um, the history divides easily up into stages. Once there were no services, then Somerset was one of the leading authorities in providing them, led by rather indomitable ladies like Nora Cook Hurl, formerly Nora Fry, and they led to the establishment of a hospital pattern, but there was nothing else. So when I was a young man, uh, the first training centres had begun, and Somerset proudly had 13 of these training centres, when sometimes some London boroughs were thinking of starting their first one. So the history um, is pretty good. Later came the question of moving people away from hospital care, where, don't get me wrong, they received very devoted and loving care very often, but many of them were so far from home. Uh, imagine the journey involved in coming from Yeovil to a place like Sandhill Park at Bishop Lydiard, or even worse, visiting a hospital based at Flax Burson, near Bristol, which was part of the same group. It was an entire day's travel to spend about 30 minutes with uh, the, the handicapped member of the family. So my concern is that after Somerset earned itself a, a reputation of being one of the leading authorities in the country, helping people to follow the Scandinavian pattern of out-of-hospital care and living in small dwellings with staff help when required of various levels, to move the training centre and the what was formerly called a training centre, now a school, um, and remember, when I was young, people who go there were excluded from education entirely. They're now happily part of the education stream. But to move them out of town seems to me very mistaken. It is mistaken in terms of Haygrove, even more mistaken in terms of schools like Penrose. We need our people with learning difficulties to be in contact with us day to day. They have the right to share in our community life and we need to be reminded that they are there and to see and share our community with them. This flies in the face of history and I'm quite convinced that this policy is wrong. I also happen to think privately that the site at Penrose still has something to offer so perhaps consideration could be given to redeveloping that site and setting up another unit with the main criteria being that it must be in the town. I have other concerns and these are to do with the role or what seems an increasing role of business firms in local government. I'm not quite sure what they're doing there. Um, I'm concerned about what will be the long-term effects of letting them finance public services and in relation to learning difficulties, which is my particular interest, I have considerable concerns about firms like IBM, for instance, and I read in Edwin Black's book and Martin Gilbert's book about the Holocaust of the role that they played in terms of helping Germany to identify who was Jewish, who was not, where they lived and so forth. And uh, I, these are obviously major concerns of mine. I hope they are too of other people's. 
I have other concerns as well about big business firms like uh, IBM and uh, the fact that they will be involved in long-term financing of these schools, schools like Haygrove. That is a major concern to me. And will they have any say in the way these schools are run or in educational policy? Exactly what is their role? What are they offering to local government? What are they making out of it? What benefit to local government is it? I'm unsure, and I'm sure many of the public are. I certainly haven't seen much literature circulating in Somerset about this new deal that is taking place that is supposed to be beneficial for all the people of Somerset. I personally doubt it. The Nazis selected the pretty Jewish girls for their brothels in the concentration camps and murdered the old and ugly, discarded them and used their bodies for soap, lampshades and even to feed their guard dogs. Capture, domesticate, annihilate.